So, as you can see, we've got some of the best sports bikes in the world here at uh, the Cirque du de Navarra. But uh, as opposed to riding all of this beautiful metal, I've decided to bring this. VR6. So then, this is episode five, Charlie. It is episode five. It is episode five. And um, we've come all the way down to Northern Spain. Um, I had said I was going to Castle Coup, but I thought for its first actual track test, this would probably be a bit more special. So yeah. basically, we stowed this away in the van and uh, hid it under lots of stuff so nobody could see. And then, obviously, once I rolled it out, well, they can't stop me using it, can they? No, no, exactly. Now, in the last episode, you alluded to some new wheels. Yes. So tell me about them. <coughs> well, what we've got here is a set of Dimag carbon wheels. Okay. Now, I've never ridden on carbon wheels before, so I really wanted to take this opportunity um, to see how they'd be on the R6. And I have to say, so far, they've been absolutely phenomenal. On the road, you mean? On the road, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all got all very noisy around here all of a sudden, isn't it? Yeah, well, it is. Someone's coming into pit lane, obviously. <laughs> okay, uh, how much are these? Um, you're looking around about two and a half grand a set. Okay, that seems now, ballpark. That, that, that's ballpark, it's, yeah, it's, but you've got to be willing to spend that, mm. basically. But on the road, my God, what a difference. Wow. I mean, basically, what you're looking at, with the two wheels that we've changed to carbon, I've saved four and a half kilograms, okay? Now, you would say straight away, if you want to save weight, what you've got to do is change the exhaust, which is what I'm planning to do. Mm -hmm. But so far, um, four and a half kilograms of gyroscopic forces, gyroscopic mass, mm -hmm. is making acceleration faster, because you've lost that. So acceleration is faster, braking is faster, and turning is so mm. much sharper. Yeah. So in terms of a modification, yes, it's quite, a, quite an outlay, but so far it's made all the difference. Well, losing unsprung weight is that's the, the daddy, really, when it comes to losing weight off a bike, especially yeah. because there's essentially so little unsprung weight you can lose, because yeah. most of the weight on the bike is, is all sprung. Yeah. <laughs> that was a speedy camera angle, wasn't it? It was, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very quick. Awesome. All right, buddy, well, uh, I guess I'll let you get to it, and we'll check in with you after some riding. I was worried I was going to fuck them. <laughs> no mate, they're, they're solid as a rock. Solid yeah. as a rock. It's not like they're tyres, Gaz. Sorry? I just did about 12 or 13 laps on them. Have you? Yeah, Are and I, right? I, thought, I thought maybe they're going to be a bit snotted up, but they were bent. Are, are they uh, gripping? Yeah, yeah but I mean, you just jumped off our 11s onto T31s. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're not the right tyre for the circuit. No. But they're not designed for the circuit, are they? They're the right tyre for the road. Exactly. Yeah. And did you have fun? Fucking did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the ringing endorsement you need. I think. Mr. Charlie. Morning. So here we are. Well, it's actually more like lunchtime now. So here we are on day two. Tell me about the R6. Well, we had a very, very good day on it yesterday. It's absolutely superb. Now, we're here at Navarra, and for those of you who don't know this circuit, um, it's time. It's niggly, it's gnarly. Um, but the R6 has been superb, especially with the Dimag wheels, because it's given it that extra... Oh, fuck it, we got the key. Where was it? It had fallen down where Jeremy was taking the photos at Pitwall. Oh. <laughs> right, this is an important moment. <laughs> We've been looking for this fucking van key. <laughs> For all day. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm not that happy. Go, go, go away. Give me five. <laughs> oh, 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 mate. We've been out all night. Yeah, oh, good. 
Yes! Okay, panic over everyone, panic he's, over. He saved himself. Yeah. So, can we get back to the R6, please? So, that was the good news. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, basically... Yeah. You're done. Can we, need, can we get on with this? Money. Well, it is really it's a nice cup of tea. Show business personality. Yeah. Come on. Okay, so, basically, before I was rudely interrupted, yeah. um, around here is really, really gnarly, as I was saying. Um, around uh, Navarro, um, and the dye mag wheels were phenomenal. Mm, they were actually. I have to. I have yeah, to agree. They were absolutely brilliant. Um, and sorry to interrupt you. This was already quick steering. Yeah. yeah lightning, yeah. lightning yeah. fast with these on. Um, and the, I mean the Nitron shocks, and the proper setup mm -hmm. just made it a dream. Mm -hmm. okay, absolute dream. And I've had, I had a phenomenal day yesterday. Yeah. So yesterday we did. Probably 170 miles, mm -hmm. 170, 175 miles, which is a lot of laps here. Yep. And you've got to consider the number of bikes that we've got in there mm -hmm. from the Ducati V4, mm -hmm. the Aprilia. Um, we've got some phenomenal bikes here to ride. This was never in. No. Because it's just brilliant mm -hmm. around this circuit. It was absolutely superb. The best thing I did yesterday was actually ride the S1000 RR. Mm -hmm. I went round here on that and then I got back onto the R6 and it just made everything so much easier. Mm. So Superbike School talks about wide view yeah, and I could just see everything and it was, you know, it's a difficult circuit to learn but the R6 was phenomenal mm -hmm. and the tyres were awesome. Yeah. Um, so really looking forward to a full old day today, mm -hmm. hopefully going to get up to about 300, 350 yeah. miles maybe on track, mm -hmm. but it hasn't quite worked out that way. Um, so Can I pan out now? Yeah, pull back, pull back. Bugger. So as you can see, Uncle Beach, mm -hmm. she's been down the road. Yeah. Um, basically, because this is such an attractive bike to everybody, <laughs> one of our Italian cousins wanted to take it out, as he did yesterday. Yeah. And he's obviously had a spill. Most important thing, he's fine. Mm. Um, but what it does give us a chance to look at is the Yamaha and the RNG crash protection mm -hmm. and how it's actually saved this bike, which did go down hard. It was really, a big, really big crash. Yeah, it was a big high side. Mm -hmm. The damage is only on this side, which we're showing you. Yeah, so here, um, see but, in it. But yeah, so obviously that that's really taken a smack. Mm -hmm. We've lost an indicator. If you come down here, this is the RNG um, crash, yeah. uh, crash bung here. Look at here. Yep. Nothing. Nothing. That has done fun. its job. Yeah. That's really done its job. There was nothing to protect the Pipeworks can, unfortunately. And you lost a peg. I have lost a peg. But what's really, really exciting here, yeah. as exciting as this can be, this crash protection here, look, look at the fairing. Mm. We've got a couple of chips here. No, it's not too bad though. And then here as well, engine case is absolutely fine. The plastic slider has come away. Mm -hmm. But look all around it. Yeah. It's done the job. There's, there's, there isn't even a scuff. Mm. Um, so predominantly, mate, with a big, big smash like that, you would expect more damage than this. Obviously, we've taken a bit of a hit on the Barracudas. Yeah. Um, and that's it's bent the uh, clip on, which yeah. is a pain in the ass. We smashed a wing mirror, but so be it. And look, again, here, no damage at all. Um, and also, we've just fitted this second skin mm -hmm. um, which you will have seen in a previous uh, professional video <laughs> um, but again look I yep, mean, it's, nothing I, it, it's just it's completely gutting but in the end this is riding bikes mm. um, mate they have two wheels and sometimes they fall over well yeah they do and it's it's an absolute pisser because I was having a great time on this bike we all were everyone's gutted yeah um, but as I say um, my old mate Pablo's all right. <laughs> Paolo. Well, I, I can call him what, he, what I want. Paolo. Smash my <laughs> Paolo, Paolo, Paolo Rossi, no less. Paolo Rossi. Oh, it's, well, it's got, a Yamaha's gone down by a Rossi. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Time, isn't it? <laughs> um, so, and this side is, is cushy, yeah, isn't it? Look, mint. Not, a, not a bloody nothing at all, which, is, which for a high side crash is, quite frankly, astonishing. Yeah, so you heard it here for, first, folks. The Yamaha R6, it crashes well. Yeah. So then, next up is uh, get her back to the UK. 
back to the UK in a van, and yeah. as you now know, we've got the key, so mm -hmm. we can go home. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll get it to uh, we'll get it to Wayne at Phoenix Yamaha. Mm -hmm. We'll assess the damage. Mm -hmm. We'll get well. It only needs the rear panel replacing. Yep. Obviously, this needs to be done. I, we're going to have to have a look at the frame, obviously, because it has gone down on this slider. But I'm not expecting there to be anything. No. Anything wrong there? So actually, big big crash, very little damage. As good a scenario as it can be. So looking forward to episode six. <laughs> what me on a fucking push bike? <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. That's it, folks. <laughs>